how to set up and install your Google Nest Cam. Your Google Nest Cam can be installed inside or outside your home. In this video, we'll show you how to set it up. Everything that you need to get started is included in the box. You may also need a pencil, a crosshead screwdriver, a drill with a 2mm drill bit, a 6.5mm masonry bit, a rubber mallet or hammer, a flathead screwdriver, and a ladder. Make sure that you have a Google account set up and the Google Home app installed. Go to accounts.google.com to set up an account. Then download the Google Home app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. First, you'll set up your camera in the Google Home app. Then you'll install it. Add your Nest Cam to the Google Home app. When prompted, scan the QR code found on the front of your camera. Remove the QR code sticker and place it in the Quick Start Guide. Saving it will make it easier to set up your camera again if you need to. If you misplace the QR code, you can still set up your camera. Just tap Continue without scanning. Enter the setup code found at the bottom of your camera. Next, connect your power cord. Make sure that you align the magnetic connector on the power cord to the connector at the bottom of the camera. You'll feel it snap into place. Then plug the other end into a socket. When the status light pulse is blue, it's ready to set up. Now follow the steps in the app to set up your camera. Make sure that your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that will be used to set up your Nest Cam. You'll select whether you're installing your camera indoors or outdoors. Connect it to your Wi-Fi network, then select the location where you want to set your camera up. Now let's plan your installation. You've probably already picked a spot for your Nest Cam. Here are some things to consider. Choose a location with a good Wi-Fi connection. Test it by placing your camera in the area where you'd like to install it. Make sure that the video is still streaming and the light on the camera is green. If the video stream is interrupted, try moving the camera to improve the connection. Sometimes a few centimetres can make a big difference. If you plan to use your camera in wired mode, use the weatherproof cable. It's available in different lengths and can be used both indoors and outdoors. The weatherproof cable is sold separately. Go to store.google.com for details. Starting from the socket, plan the path to connect the weatherproof cable to your camera. Make sure that you leave a little slack where the cable connects to the camera so that you can adjust the camera angle once it's mounted. For outdoor installations, if you don't have an exterior socket or want to plug it indoors, you may need to hire a professional to help with installation. Visit nest.com forward slash UK forward slash nest dash pro dash installation for more information. Now find the right height to mount your camera so that you capture what you'd like to see. If you plan to install your camera outside, place it 1.8 to 2 metres above the ground. Many of your camera features will work best at this height. If you mount your camera higher than 2 metres, use the secure loop to prevent the camera from falling to the ground if it gets removed from the magnetic mount. If mounting to wood, drywall or plaster, use the wall screws and wall plate included in the box. For brick, stone or stucco, also use the wall anchors. Hold the wall plate against the wall or ceiling and insert the screws directly into the wall. If you need to, drill pilot holes using a 2mm drill bit. If wall anchors are needed, mark the location for each screw. Then drill a hole for each anchor using a 6.5mm drill bit or masonry bit. Gently tap in the anchors with a rubber mallet or hammer. Then secure the wall plate with the screws provided. Twist the magnetic plate clockwise over the wall plate to secure it. If you'd like to use the secure loop, you can attach it now. Screw the end of the secure loop into the bottom of the camera. Tighten with a flathead screwdriver and make sure not to over tighten it. Place the loop around the magnetic mount so it slips behind the magnetic plate and pull the tab for a snug fit. Make sure that you keep the tab accessible 
so you can remove the loop when you need to charge the camera. Now attach the camera to the magnetic mount. Align the camera so the status light is positioned at the top and the speaker is at the bottom. For wired installations, plug the weatherproof cable into the socket, then route the cable to the camera. Use the included cable clips, screws and wall anchors if needed to secure the cable to the wall. Leave a little slack in the cable so that you can adjust the camera when it's connected. Now attach the other end of the cable to the camera, making sure that the magnetic connector is fully inserted and pointing in the right direction. To set up your camera on a tabletop or flat surface, use the Nest Cam stand. The stand is sold as a separate accessory. Visit store.google.com for more details. Connect the power cable to the stand and plug the other end into a socket. Then place the camera on the base, making sure that the magnetic connector is aligned. If you plan to use your Nest Cam in battery mode, fully charge it about five hours. The status light will blink white while charging and turn solid white when fully charged. You can see your camera's battery level in a number of places in the Google Home app, so you'll always know how much charge your camera has. You can see it from the camera home screen, when viewing the live video stream, and from the battery screen in the camera settings menu. To learn more, visit the Google Help Center.